Alright, so the package is like extremely damaged, so we're just going to be careful and we're going to open it. Whoa, what is this? Alright you guys, before we get started with today's video of opening up the supposed secret technology that we purchased from the deep and dark web, look what came. It's the 100,000 subscriber plaque that YouTube sends out. You don't know how much this means to me, and for those of you who are still around that discovered my channel from me being on Draw Muller at the times, this, you're, you're the real MVP, but they finally sent it. And you don't know how proud I am of this, and even if it is just a plaque, just just a piece of, I mean, it's, it's made out of like, I guess metal and whatnot, but it's, even if it's just something as small as this, it means the world to me. Like, I don't know about you guys, I mean, I'm sure every one of you who watches my channel have like, won some sort of an award or like trophy or anything. Personally, I have never won or gotten a trophy before in my entire life. I always wanted to like work for, I always wanted to like work for things, but I never got like anything from sports. The only thing I have is like my high school diploma and whatnot. And you can even argue if that's like a, uh, an award because God forbid I almost got that fucking thing. This is so beyond special to me, you guys, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, like a year ago when I reached 100,000 subscribers, YouTube basically rejected my, uh, my plea <laughs> or my submission to get one of these plaques, even though they claimed to send them out to everybody, they declined my, um, my submission for it because they came to the conclusion that my content wasn't worthy of it. I actually submitted the story to Keemstar on Drama Alert and they picked it up and it kind of blew up and like Polygon wrote a whole article about me. They, you know, they advertised it and he put me in contact with uh, a guy, another representative from YouTube and he got through and, you know, here we are sitting at about 230,000 subscribers and we got this finally. And you don't know how much this means to me, but I just wanted to show you guys because I posted about it today and uh, a lot of you have been asking questions, so there it is. It's so pretty, but I know that was just a little bit of a plug-in, but you guys, let's go ahead and open this box that we got. Um, it's honestly pretty creepy. I'm really excited for it. So this is most likely undoubtedly a scam, but we're going to nonetheless open it up. So I'm going to be putting a screenshot on screen of basically the website that we purchased this from that is no longer up for some apparent reason. We ordered this three weeks ago, and... As you can see, it has no mailing address or return address. On all of the other packages that we've received from the deep web, they have all contained at least some sort of form of like mysterious web address or like URL that's been on the return. At least been a shipping address, but this one was just randomly left on our doorstep. And as you can see on the site itself, it says that it's discreet and non-commercial shipping. So I don't know if this has to do with like some sort of independent shipping address. Just decided not to put anything on it. I don't know anything about that. I've normally had to block out my address and the return address website multiple times for these videos. But uh, nonetheless, you guys, this is a piece of supposed secret technology that you can purchase from the deep web itself. Now, as I said, this is most likely a scam, but we, got, we actually came across this site. My friend or one of my producers, he was like, hey, this is actually kind of interesting. We should check it out and do it for a video, even though it is probably a scam. So right now I am out $200 for this very, very small package, and we're going to open it and it supposedly contains some sort of secret technology that you can purchase on the deep and dark web. So if you guys did enjoy today's video, then drop a like, subscribe if you are new for more creepy and scary content uploaded here to my channel daily. Don't forget to turn on those notifications. We got some crazy videos coming out here soon. And uh, without further ado, let's take a look on what's inside. All right, so the package is like extremely damaged. So we're just gonna be careful and we're gonna open it. 
Whoa, what is this? Congratulations, you're now the first and only owner of the world's first invisibility cloak. With this comes a grand responsibility, so do be careful. Enjoy. Green paper. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. So they're putting this off as an invisibility cloak? As an invisibility cloak? When this is just nothing but green screen paper? Oh, you... That is some sketchy ass sh I can't believe that. So one thing to also consider is that on the website itself they have a video that I'll be playing on screen of a very weird and convincing thing. I honestly had no idea. They didn't say what sort of like secret technology, but this is just a flat out scam. You gotta be kidding me people. I don't even know if I'm gonna put this in a video. This is a little bit of, of absurd. I can't believe this. But in a way, it's kind of, I mean, I knew that this was a scam from the beginning, but really? I can't believe this. So, for those of you who don't really know, um, this is just green screen paper. Normally what people do is that they either take like a green screen cloak, or like a piece of paper, or some sort of green screen fabric. It could be blue. All they would do is they would remove it in post-editing, and then they would replace it with some sort of like um, like background or they can even make it invisible or they can make it as the same background and people can wear it and it'll, it would basically turn them invisible. So that's what this is. It, we paid $200 for something that was obviously like 99 cents at the store or something like that. But I guess this is a little bit interesting. The site was obviously a scam, and um, <laughs> congratulations, you're now the first and only owner of the world's first invisibility cloak. What a bunch of just random crap. I swear, like, I understand that people do deep web videos on YouTube and they're supposedly getting a bunch of like really dangerous stuff, but this is like what you're really getting. Like, and the fact of the matter is, is that if you're not just watching these videos and you're actually going out and purchasing random stuff from the deep web and all that kind of stuff, I'm surprised that it's not more stuff like what I'm getting because this is just straight up just scam stuff. And I've been scammed almost every single time with this. Like, even though we've gotten some creepy stuff, it's been mostly just like scammed stuff. And that's what you're normally going to be getting from the deep and dark web. That That's the supposed secret technology, green screen paper for you basically to keyframe and get rid of in post editing. That's going to be about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, then drop a like. Subscribe if you are new. If you guys enjoyed seeing me waste $200 on yet again another mystery box from the deep web. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Wow, this is like some suspect shit. Holy shit. That is um, a little bit beyond terrifying. What are you doing, my dude? You look fucking hella suspect. So we have to find seven notebooks. So rip me, 99. This game is not winning the best award for graphics. This, like, legit reminds me of my old classroom. Math, more math. Math, 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 math. Notebooks. I completely forgot they were looking for notebooks. Is this a notebook? Can I just get, can I grab this? Pencils? This looks like a notebook. You're really not going to allow me to grab that? Okay. When you follow the school rules, no running. Word says, sorry, was too lazy to add more subjects. Me, that's a big fat fucking mood.